So hello and welcome back to another video. Now today I'm out on this glorious, beautiful September day to do a bit of wrasse fishing. Now I've not been out to target wrasse in quite some time. Um, I've got a few videos targeting wrasse on my channel. Um, I believe the last one I put up was about five months ago, so that time has really flown by. Now as we've, uh, we're coming to the end of summer and sort of into, into autumn now, the back end of summer, it is a great time to do a bit of wrasse fishing. I've been preoccupied throughout the summer months targeting other things and I thought why not come out today, flick a few lures out, I'm going to be using a simple Texas rig um, and target some wrasse. Now it's all very simple stuff, the rod I'm going to be using today is a 7 foot or 7 foot 2 um, pen conflict, this is an inshore bass rod, now it's got a casting rating of up to 50 grams, um, 7 foot 2 ideal for wrasse, this rod is extremely good, it's got a nice bit of backbone, a lot of strength behind it for such a light rod. Um, on here I've just got a 4000 size reel, this is a Shimano Nasky 4000 which I've had for a few years now and it's still going strong. I'm using 20 pound braid and my Texas rig is just 3 foot of 20, uh, 20 pound fluorocarbon. I've got a little 9 gram bullet weight on there um, and a little 2.0 worm hook and just a little soft plastic. Now I'll give you a run through of the rig um, a bit closer up in a, in a little bit. I've come to the first spot today, it's an absolutely glorious day so to just be out in this beautiful weather flicking a few lures about and hunt for a wrasse is going to be going to be great fun anyway. I'm hoping we can find a few, we've got very small tides however the tide is flooding so whilst I'm fishing over the next whatever couple of hours uh, hopefully it's going to bring some fish in and we'll be able to connect to one or two wrasse and get them on camera and give you a good show. So that's the plan today, it's still relatively shallow here and um, that tide's not going to come in quickly because like I said it's a small one. So I'll just be hopping about the rocks, we've got the whole of the coastline here to go up and down. Um, there's some deeper water marks further down there as well so if it doesn't pay off here in the shallows I'll go to the deeper water and see if we can find anything there. So I'll give you a little run through of things and uh, yeah we'll get fishing pretty much straight away. So all very simple today, obviously I've got the 7 foot pen rod. 4,000 size reel. This reel's taken an absolute pasting over the years, but it's still going strong. Um, it's got a bit of salt water corrosion on there, but for things like this, it's absolutely ideal. Nice bit of strength behind it. Now this here is the rig, if I can get it unclipped. So literally all we have here, I've got a size eight barrel swivel, which is connected to my main line, my braid and then it just comes down here. I'd say that's about, that's a good three foot, 20 pound fluorocarbon. I've got a sliding nine gram bullet weight there. That can go all the way up and down the line. And then I just have a little bead here to protect the knot on the hook. And then I've got the 2.0 hook here. So a nice small hook. And this will still attract big wrasse as well. And just a little soft plastic. This is a Savage Gear sand eel I've cut down. All of my wrasse lures are just old bass lures that I've got nailed and have no other purpose so they're absolutely ideal for this keep them nice and small uh, personally i prefer a paddle tail you get more more feel um through the line with a paddle tail on there so that's the setup today i'm going to start by fishing into this area here i'll probably go on to that rock there and flick a lure into here now i was thinking it would be a little bit deeper by now but that tide's a small one today so we'll just have to wait for it to come up a little bit but let's get fishing, see what we can find. It's an absolutely stunning day. So to start off, check that drag. Make sure that's nice and tight. There we go. And this is the ground I'm going to be fishing into at first now. This is only a few feet deep probably about four to five foot in front of me but it's actually shallower a bit further out because there's lots of boulders you see you've got a few big rocks there there's one just out there which is just covered as well now this this water is going to be deep enough to hold wrasse um i did think it would be a little deeper but i'm going to give it a go here first anyway now it's just a light flick out literally 15 meters or so and I'm going to keep that rod tip pretty high. And it's just basically a sink and draw method. Just bouncing the lure up and down. 
wind in the slack and get snagged. Oh, well, don't you just absolutely love fishing? It can slap you in the face at any moment. That was the first cast I had and I could not retrieve that lure back. So on we go with a new one. New rig, new lure. Now this is uh, one of the main reasons why I use old lures, old soft plastics for this type of stuff. You're fishing in amongst the rough, really, really snaggy ground. Um, so you're gonna lose loads of gear. So that one failed cast is enough for me in that area for now. And I've come over here and just before the tide starts flooding over it to go into hopefully a bit deeper water. Now it is always worth just trying in big deep gullies like this as well. Just flick the lure next to the rocks. Let it sink. You just kind of bounce it up and down in there. Now it's not unusual whatsoever to just catch rats right at your feet. They'll just creep out of boulders, snatch your lure and try and go back in. That's why it's good to have a tight drag. Always be ready to, to lift into the fish to, you know, to stop it doing that. Well, we're into our first fish. Come on, where is it? Don't go beyond that rock. First cast in this area. And we're into our first fish. I'm just gonna wait for that wave. I'm gonna lift him up. Come on. There we go. It's not a bad rest, that. First rass of the trip, beautiful. So this is the area that I was talking about before when I was over there. I said I was waiting for that tide to come up a bit. There we've got first rass of the afternoon. Now I'm not gonna keep them out of the water too long. Just gonna get the pliers for that. He's hooked perfectly. There we go, hooks out. That there's our first rest of the afternoon. Beautiful. Yeah, so this is the area I wanted to be in. Now, on its day, this area here can be Rass City. You can just hook one after the other. So this is the area I wanted to fish straight away. However, with the tide being quite low, I just thought I'd give it a little while um, before I'd come over here. So I went the other side of some big rocks over there into some deeper water. However, it's all kind of over just rock basically, which is still good ground, but I'm looking for rock and weed really dark patches that's where the rats are going to be hiding out so i come over here that was first cast i think i got it on this camera i'm pretty sure i got it on the chest cam 
but that worked to treat that. Now with ras fishing, you'll always get that initial hit. And you just want to leave it a little bit because sometimes it hasn't swallowed the hook. And then once you feel the second tap, that's when you pull into it. So we'll get this lure back in the water and see if we can get another one. Had a few more casts here and I've had another knock or two, but that's it. So it must have been a small rash. And that's what I mean, getting weed on pretty much every other cast at the moment. I feel that bouncing off all the boulders, just like that, and getting snagged up. Ah. Well, I got it back. Now, it pays to do that sometimes. You ever get snagged up like that? There's a lot of tide coming in here due to the swell coming in. So I just flick the bay alarm off and let the water wash the lure about. And sometimes it'll just wash it out of the snag and you can retrieve it. So luckily, got that one back. So this one snuck out the... This one crept out the rock just as I was bringing the lure in. It's a good job I slowed it down a little. Saw it poke out. Let's get this guy back. So that one just crept out the rocks there. That's why it always pays just to slow the lure down a little bit when you get it in front of you. Because obviously you can see it through the water, so if any fish chases that or comes out of a hiding place last minute, you can just drop the lure back down again and hopefully it's gonna take. Let's see if we can find another one. So without wanting to be defeated, I hopped in my car, driven down the road, only a few hundred meters, and I've come to a different place now. Now I'm staring directly into the sun. That sun's gonna be going down in 45 minutes to an hour's time. So the rats could go off the feed. Um, they don't tend to feed at nighttime. And as that sun's setting, you, I'm still, you can still get them, don't get me wrong, so I'm still in with a chance. But uh, yeah, we'll just see. But anyway, I've come down here. I'm gonna give it 20 minutes here and uh, hopefully we can pick one or, one or two more out. Well, that it's the final call of the day. I've just lost another rig there. But I'm gonna give up, I'm gonna admit defeat. Now it's been pretty tough, pretty tough. Um, I do apologize about the lack of fish. We had a uh, couple of couple small rats at the start of the video. But uh, yeah, ever since then, I've had taps here and there from very, very small fish. But I've just not been able to connect with them. And I've not had any other, um, any other fish chase a lure or anything like that. 
So it's been a tough old afternoon. Now, as you can probably see, the light's starting to fade a little bit, but it's a, a glorious evening, it really is. Now, I thought we'd be able to go out today, catch a few rats and make a exciting video. Um, that hasn't really gone to plan. However, I'll probably still put this video um, together and put it up on my channel at some point. I hope it's got a few tips in there that can help anyone out or anyone who's just completely new to fishing. As I said, ras fishing is great fun. It's nice to get out and target a few different things. I hadn't been out in quite some time, so uh, yeah, I'll probably over the next month or so, probably go out again and target some ras with some Texas rigs and maybe just some more ordinary lures and see if we can find a big one. So yeah, that's the plan for the future. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, hope it's provided a little bit of entertainment. Thank you very much to everybody who watches and subscribes to my channel. There'll be plenty more videos to come over the, uh, the, next, the next few months and later on into the year. So keep your eyes peeled. There's a variety of videos to go up. So thanks very much and I'll see you on the next one.